Hello, hello, hello. Is it a special day today? We got all of them rolling there. Are we rolling? We're okay, rolling. we're rolling. Special day today. Happy Valentine's Day. Surprise. Here we are. Um, I thought I would come on. I'm getting ready to make a special Valentine's Day dessert for us. So I thought, well, shoot, maybe you guys would like to come along and make a little special Valentine's dessert with us. I'm going to make an apple crisp for Valentine's Day. I know people traditionally like chocolate desserts on Valentine's Day, but I don't know. I just felt like maybe an apple crisp would be a good Valentine's Day dessert this year. What are you guys all making for Valentine's Day? I'm going to get this up here so I can see your comments. Um, you want to comment, you go to my Facebook page and you can comment away because I can't read the Instagram comments from here. So anyway, we're going to get started. I have here, I have, I saved one apple here to cut with, uh, with you guys. So let's start there. I've got, I bought um, three Granny Smiths, the green ones, and three, these are Chilin apples. I don't get super caught up in peeling them because a little skin, I don't mind. Um, sometimes I make it even with the peel. The peel doesn't bother me at, at all, but because I'm using my beautiful pans, look, everybody remember these from my last Valentine's show? These Le Creuset heart-shaped pans. Are these the cutest or what? So I am making, um, there you go. <laughs> I saw these somewhere on Lake Crusade and I had to go buy them, I had to have them. So Valentine's Day, another re reason. I'm like, well, I got the pans. We better do another show. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Keep going here on my apple. Look, I could have, oh, I still do. I have one peel here. My brother used to do this. We were kids with a knife. Get it done in one. Well, there you go. Ooh, whoops, done in two because I stopped. <laughs> Anyway, to make it as simple as I can, I use an apple slicer here. I don't like to get the apple chunks too small. And the only reason, here we go, let's see if I can do this with you guys watching. There we go, right through. Of course, we lost one on the floor. <laughs> Anyone see that one go flying? <laughs> I felt it hit, hit my foot. Oops, I need my knife. Here we go, hold on a second. I need my knife here. Normally, if I was making this in a casserole dish, I would just leave these pieces whole like this big, but I'm using these small dishes, so I'm gonna cut them in, in half a little bit. Now, the apples that I cut already, well, I was waiting for you guys. I have some lemon juice in the bowl here so they don't turn brown. And then I have a surprise ingredient. I was reading apple crisp recipes last night, getting ready for this, and then made it my own. Took kind of the best of the ones that I liked and cut the sugar way down because I don't like my apple crisp super sweet and uh, made it my, my own. So in here already is the juice of a lemon, of course, off my tree that I grew because, you know, such a farmer. I think that's Parker there. Hey, Parker. Stephanie, how are you guys? Happy Valentine's Day. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? So I'm just going to mix those up. But a secret ingredient that one of these apple crisp recipes had was fresh squeezed OJ. So I was like, well, that's cool, because I knew you used le uh, lemon juice, but I'm going to put, let's see, this is half of one juice, so it's about three tablespoons, people call maybe four, and ask me how much, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Are these cute, look at my balls, see how cute they are. I was at a luncheon today, and I won the, cent the centerpiece, and this was the, the, the centerpiece, aren't they cute? So I thought, well, that's perfect, I'll use those for, for the show. So anyway, a little orange juice in here, a little fresh um, lemon juice, and I am going to put just a little bit of sugar. The recipes call for like a half a cup, a cup. I'm like, no, I mean like a tablespoon, maybe two, in with the apples. And I'm going to put some cinnamon, like a teaspoon of cinnamon, in with our apples. Maybe half a teaspoon. I don't want to get too crazy here. I'm going to put a half. Oh, yum, smells good already, yum. How many of you love apple crisp too? And it's so easy, you probably have everything you need. So I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon here of nutmeg, just a pinch, a little bit of nut nutmeg goes a long way. But we're gonna put a pinch in there and I'm gonna do a pinch of salt too. So let me do just a couple shakes of salt. Always a little salt to counterbalance the sugar. So a couple shakes of salt in there. 
And I'll put a couple shakes in our to in our topping too. Let me see if I can get this mixed up. Of course, I guess I needed a bigger bowl, but I wanted you guys to be to be able to see. <laughs> so I picked the glass dish so you guys could see too. Yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> and we're the ones that are going to be eating this. Of course, probably have to give one of these away. <laughs> we don't need both. Who wants the other one? Who's, lo who's local? Oh my gosh, that looked great. Yum! Looks killer! So now let's make our topping. Let's get our topping going here. So in my bowl here, I already have a little bit of butter, half a stick. And so I'm going to put in a cup of oats, whole oats, going in, because that's my favorite part of the to of topping. Are these bowls cute? A cup of oats. I have about a half a cup. I'm using gluten-free flour, but you can use whatever you want. Just a little bit of flour. I have about a little less than half a cup of brown sugar, and I just did it like maybe a tablespoon or two of white sugar. The, re the recipe is called for like a cup and a half. I'm like, yeah, no. Way too much sugar for me because it just makes it too sweet, don't you think? Because you have to put ice cream on top, right? So you need to leave some room for the sugar in the ice cream. Okay, then I have a stick of butter here cut up that I cut up. And I was just going to show you that I used the wrapper, little cooking hack here, to butter my d dishes. I used the other wrapper because we want our dishes to be buttered so we can get our apples out <laughs> once it's cooked. So let's mix this up here. Anybody have any exciting plans for F Valentine's Day? What's up? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, this looks good already. Again, I'm gonna put, whoops, a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon in our topping. Just a pinch of nutmeg, because like I said, it goes a long way. And I'll put oh, about a half a teaspoon or so of cinnamon in here. Oh my gosh, yum! Okay. And then because I like them, a pinch of salt, a little pinch of salt. That is more than, than a pinch. There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. But I'm going to add just a little bit more flour. I wasn't sure about my ratios because I'm kind of making it up as I went along. And I can tell by looking at it that it's going to need a little more flour in there. So let me put another couple tablespoons in and mix that in because it looks a little buttery. And because I like them, I got a few, maybe quarter cup or so of golden raisins. I'm going to put those in there. And when the uh, apples cook down, they will soften up those raisins and they'll be so good. A little surprise inside of your dish. Okay, so let's give this a whirl here. Hold on. So I can turn that off. And we're going to fill our dishes here. These so cute. I know they're so cute. In they go. Okay. Wah! That's what I thought they were going to be getting away. They're getting away. I'm going to heap these as full as I possibly can because you know the apples cook way down. So I'm going to fill these to the top. Last time I used these, we made... Um, what did we make, honey? We made cheesecake bars. Raspberry or chocolate chip cheesecake bars, something. Cheesecake bars, I don't remember. I remember how they were shaped. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know, you guys think we can fit all these apples in the dish? I don't know. We're going to have topping everywhere. That's why I have a cookie sheet out behind me to put them on a cookie sheet to cook them because I have a feeling it was going to cup runneth over. Because I'm not sure these were designed for apple crisp. <laughs> but they're going to be yummy. I don't know. A few more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll let you know when I take them out. I'll take a picture and see. See what happened. Oh, my. I don't think Le Creuset had apple crisp in mind when 
uh, they design these dishes. But they are cute, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. Now we will give our topping a whirl here. I had a feeling these were going to be iffy, but hey, they're going to taste good, right? <laughs> okay, so here's our topping. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. Let's see, I'll show you. Hold on, get it off the beater here. And it is going to be delish. Just the oatmeal, butter, flour, sugar, spices. See my spatula? There it is, right there. And let's put some topping on here. Apple crisp, right, or crumble, if you want to call it. Let's see how I can get the topping on here. Yummy. What are you making for, di for dinner? See, I have, uh, I'm making ribeyes. I found a couple beautiful ribeyes, Gary's favorite, and some baked potatoes. And I went to buy, remember, I don't know if you guys, people that are more our age, the Stouffer's had um, spinach uh, souffle and they had corn sou souffle. You were, remember they came frozen and I wanted to get a spinach one to go with our steaks and they did not have them. So I guess, I don't know, Stouffer's just did, did they not make them anymore, but oh, they were so good. Oh my gosh, yum, huh? This is gonna be an art project here to get this topping on. Because you know when the apples cook down, we'll still have our yumminess on top here. Yes, sirree. I know, aren't these gonna be yummy? Yes! So this is my little Valentine's Day dessert today. Precursor to the birthday dessert that is coming. Wish I could see Gary. Can you see what's comments on Insta? Can't see him. I think it might be Mo. Hey Mo, how are you? We are ma making apple crisp in my little cute Le Creuset heart dishes to celebrate this fun romantic day. What's your favorite Valentine thing you've ever done? Anyone have any great stories to share? Comment. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know. Let's see. We went to Vegas a couple of years ago for Valentine's Day. It was so fun. Had a great time. Hit our favorite places. Vegas, always fun. Okay, there we go. Have a little bit of topping left here. But Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure apple crisp was the thing for these dishes, but... I will, I will definitely take a picture when it's cooked down and see, see what happens here. But you know, regardless, they are going to be yummy in the tummy. So I can either make fresh whipped cream, which I do have some, or uh, we'll just use ice cream. Of course, my favorite vanilla ice cream besides Haagen-Dazs, and I think it's made by them anyway, is the um, Trader Joe's vanilla ice cream is the best. And I have some, so that's probably what I'm going to be serving these with tonight. So there you have it. Apple crisp heart style in our cute pans. It's going to be delish. So I'm going to put it on the cookie sheet here because I have a feeling we might have a mess. <laughs> so I will put it on the cookie sheet, put it in the oven, bake it for about 45 minutes or so. I'll check them as they cook down and see. And then we will have yummy apple crisp served with vanilla ice cream. So hope you guys are all doing well. And some of you might have gotten a little surprise in the mail. And we wish you always the best. Remember, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So make it a great one. And happy Valentine's Day and sending lots of love to everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. Adios.